check it out. <clears throat> we got uh, the Popey Grandizer Jumbo Machine there. Um, I picked this up from a Toy Box DXer. Um, how many years ago now? It's it's kind of funny. It's, uh, I would say at least three. Yeah, something like that. Um, it was funny because we were just talking about money and you know popping your four figure cherry. And I was like, nah, come on now. Just because I buy the Choking Zoku for a great deal doesn't mean that I'm going to start throwing, you know, grands around to pay for these damn toys. About a month after I bought the Choking Zoku. Was it that quick? <laughs> something like go. that. So, uh, anyway, you got your colorful box, you know, the two piece, the two part uh, Popey box. I love the, uh, the cutaway diagram on the side. Mm. Yeah. It's gorgeous. The schematics. I got close-ups of them on the website, so definitely check out Collection DX because the the text review um, has some great close-ups of all the stuff. Oh, robot <laughs> for you. One of the best jumbos, hands down, is this Grandizer. I think. I uh, used to own a loose one, but had to sell it because... Uh, uh, yeah, I like all the, molded, the, all the different molded detail on it. Yeah, and as, we, move, and as, as we move along, we're going to talk a little more maybe about uh, the differences between the, the Popey and the Mattel version, which is far inferior. Yeah. I don't think he's that bad, but... Yeah, he is. Okay, that, dude. Yeah. This is the Popey, and of course it comes with the catalog, and it's... Pretty. It's got great shots of all the other jumbos in it. Want to show that? Yeah, one? sure. I actually wish the uh, the centerfold could be seen, like on the front. I know, really. Well, actually, it's not even a centerfold. It's the first page. If that's not beautiful. I don't know what is. Check out that. That is beautiful. And the great thing about it, too, if you can see, Josh, the uh, the flares on Grandizer's arms are inverted on the prototype. Oh, they're, they're facing nice. the wrong way. <laughs> Whoops. Like a screw crusher punch, but not quite all the way. Look, they had time constraints, they had interns doing the work, whatever. The Accessory fists. And little, uh, some nice artwork. Again, more close-ups of this stuff on the website. Yeah, It's great. You get her G's. I was just pleased to have gotten this toy in such great condition. I mean, the box is in an absolute perfect shape. It's definitely bent up, and it's got creases here and there and stuff like that. But, but that's you know, kind of like average for yeah, demo boxes. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. They're so flimsy. Uh, in general, there are a couple that aren't quite exactly yeah, paper. Just, but, cool. uh, yeah. I mean, but that's the, the, the exception to the rule, for sure. Totally. I mean, it's got character. The toys have character. The packaging has character. It's all, like, it's all good stuff, you know? Um, so this is it. I mean, I just love it because the colors are spot on. They're, everything just pops about this toy. I mean, the red and the blue is so vibrant, offset by the dark colors and the, the sickles here. They come out, the shoulder boomerangs. They're, uh, they're a little bit different from the, uh, um, the Golderac version, which we're going to show in a little bit, because these are actually uh, two-part. They're two pieces here. They sort of rotate. You know, it's kind of hard plastic here and hmm, that's polyethylene. I didn't know that. When I had my loose one, I had a, um, I had some repro sickles that, perhaps I can't even remember who made them, but um, they certainly didn't spin like that. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird. I wouldn't expect them to rotate like that, and they're, they really shouldn't. But who the hell cares, really? Yeah. Um, notice the uh, the sickles themselves are really white and kind of new looking. Are those hollow, the, the sickles. Uh, they solid. No, I think they're hollow. Squeeze them real hard. Find out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're polyethylene. They're blow mold yeah. polyethylene. But the 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 plastic for the handles are. I mean, it's plastic. Yeah, that's this kind of plastic seems plastic. similar to the yeah. plastic on my my sickle. So. Yeah, and the, notice they're kind of yellowed. Yeah. yeah. So it's there's definitely, way. you know. It sucks. Well, whatever. I'll live. That's badass right there. That's freaking cool. I love this. Justify. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so this guy goes in a little bit more delicate. Oh. That kicks much ass. World. Look at that. That's the dopest awesome. weapon ever. I don't know. I like the uh, the Dan guard, Shin guards. 
Those are pretty those cool. Are, those are pretty, are pretty cool. I'm kind of digging those. Yeah. Guy thing's got the counter crosses on his shins. The shin guards come off. But yeah, they're not as good. Yeah, those, those are a little. Uh, I don't know. I didn't. Then again, I I don't want to come off like I hate Guy King, but he's. I'm not in love with him like a lot of other collectors are. And those particular weapons, they, they just don't seem as neat. Maybe because they don't combine like the other two we just mentioned. True. True. That's a good point. And I like Great Mizinga's little swords. Swords. Yeah. Little bitty bitty swords. No, but um, below, the thing that I mentioned in the review that I'm kind of annoyed about this uh, regarding this toy is the missiles. I mean, the missiles are great. They look absolutely stellar. I mean, they, they complete the iconic Jumbo Machine Door look. But you can't shoot them with the Popey. There's nothing on Earth that shoots these missiles for this toy. Mm. Sure there are. There are several separately sold accessory sets that you need to buy. Well... I don't have any of those. Yeah. I have no real desire to get any of those. But see, see, to me that seems weird for you to say that because you want to shoot something. I mean, I, I guess if they had maybe something shooting from his stomach or it would be awesome if he shot from his knuckles or dynamite. But um, personally, I, I would rather have it as is than what we got here where you're forced, where it's forced upon you and it looks kind of awful. I think it's not a bad consolation prize for all the shortcuts that they took. But that's just me. Yeah, but, I mean, one of the iconic things about the Mattel Sugar Warrior is that U.S. people who aren't toy nerds now, who vaguely remember having them as kids, mm -hmm. they remember those missile launchers. Exactly, this yeah. is true. This is true. But obviously, you don't get the the missile fist with the with the jump uh, with the Popey Jumbo. Yeah. Instead, you get a cartoon accurate right fist, which I kind of like because, like I said, it's cartoon accurate, and I love the cartoon Force Five. And uh, also, <laughs> oh, if this hits the camera, Josh is going to be really mad at me. Thank, Not even close. Thank oh, God. I was actually <laughs> nervous because I know that thing shoots off in some force. Yeah, look at that. Our little, uh, our... awesome. A little help from the studio audience. <laughs> Rock on. Thank you. Of course, you know. Oh. <laughs> that was awesome. I stuck with that thing. <laughs> Of course, the great thing about yours is, uh, you know, the flares are flat. One thing you see on these a lot is these tend to get stretched out, and once they do, it kind of looks terrible. No, um, dumb yeah. question. Maybe, maybe not. Are those flares reversible, like they are on the, like on the Solo Togokin? You can take them off and point them out. Well, don't I don't do anything think rash. So. Okay. I, th I think the fist is probably too thick anyway. I mean, like once you turn it around, it would probably hit sure. them. Yeah. Yeah, that's know. true. They would kind of like huh? get stuck like that. So no, they're not reversible to, to produce a, an authentic screw crusher punch. But that's okay. We love we love you anyway. Um, any other features to really talk about here? Not a whole lot. I mean, the thing just looks badass. Well, there is one more thing. Um, he kind of does this. Why would he do that? I don't know why. But maybe we'll find out in a minute. Yeah. So uh, maybe we should move on to... Uh... I would also like to just chime in with something with, that I think is really great about this piece. And we were talking about it earlier. But is that all these parts, the chest V, um, on the on the waist, the, the knee pads, they're all molded separate pieces of plastic. They're not stickers. They're actual separate solid pieces that are really just fantastic. That you know, where the U.S. or foreign versions we get stickers. Yeah, I think that's a perfect segue to maybe bring out the gold rack and uh, do a little side by side. You think? Sure. Absolutely. So here we go. We'll uh, we'll grab mine because yours is beat to hell. Sure. Actually, and mine still got some damage too. Whoop! I almost knocked over your Korean one. We'll talk about him later, maybe. Um. So yeah, this is the one that was made by Mattel. Um, Do you do that with all your missiles? Uh, yeah, pretty that's much. Weird. I don't know. Uh, it depends. You mean point them as far forward as possible? Yeah. yeah. I think maybe because I, I, they're kind of supposed to be like that down here. But yeah, I, they I, have I, to I be know. that way down yeah. here. I don't really pay that much attention to it, to be honest with you. But uh, this one was made by Mattel, but it was not released in the United States. Um, like all the other Shoguns, Great Mazinger, Dragon, Radine, blah, blah, blah. Uh, all the ones we're familiar with. Uh, and for the longest time, this was considered to be the rarest one. Um, however, if you search, you know, eBay in Europe, uh, these things are every bit as common over there as the ones that we have were here. We're literally, they're all over the place. Um, but there are a couple of different versions. Um, this version that I got was made in France, 
And the reason I wanted this one is because it actually comes with a pretty interesting box variation. Uh, it does not come with a two-part box like the one you have in the regular Shoguns. Uh, like if you see here, uh, this is all straight up cardboard. And it's basically one piece. Same uh, image on both sides. And you'll notice it doesn't even say Shogun Warrior, it just says Goldorak. And it actually has a flip top part. And you just slide the jumbo in there. That's cool. Yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting. Um, I mean, it's not revolutionary or anything, but considering all the other jumbos have something different, I thought it was neat to get this particular version, which is why I didn't really mind that there's some sticker damage and sure. a little. Because uh, so I wanted the box. Yeah. yeah, that was the reason why. So you stick them in there, and then you fold these in over his head, like so it's around his neck, so he doesn't jostle around. It's pretty neat. Um, Moving past that though, what, like I said, once you put them side by side, molded piece of vinyl, crappy sticker. Again, molded vinyl on the waist, crappy sticker. You've got missile launching fist, and you got symmetrical fists on there. It's just in general, the, the whole thing is so much better. I mean, you look at the feet, he's got Great Mazinger's feet instead of his own feet. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, totally lame. Um, again, you got plastic sticker. I mean, sticker here, plastic there. Three missiles instead of five. I mean, the Popey version is is superior in every way. Mm -hmm. Take the sickles out. They're just you, you've got like this weird. I don't know. You probably can't even see it, but you've got this like, like weird X pattern on it, and it, it's just not solid. Yeah, mine mine is has one piece broken on it. Uh, off the, yeah, one it, of it, it still does the same um, feature where. It, it, Combines. See, and yours combines straight on. Yeah. Mine can only combine sideways. I Maybe they were taken from two separate toys. It's possible. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't, really, I, didn't, I didn't really pay attention to what you were talking about. I assumed it was just because it was broken. But uh, so it does the same thing, but it doesn't look as nice as the Popey version. And of course, the head doesn't tilt back. Right. And why would it? Need why would it? Uh, who knows? All right, I'm gonna talk about mine for a minute because there's a okay. whole interesting story behind it. All right. All right. So this one. Um, I got when uh, when my wife before she was my wife we, when I first moved in for one of our uh, for my I think it was my birthday she went on eBay and bought this for me. Yeah. Um, I, I had mentioned it in passing that I needed that I was looking for this one and she logged on and and made like I think to this day her only eBay purchase. Really? And now that I'm thinking about it, I think she bought it from Tom Frank. Really? <laughs> Get yeah. out of here! Oh, we'll ask him. Yeah, I think she bought it from Tom Frank. This was probably um, 2000, hmm. maybe. She she paid uh, wow. probably too much for it. Yeah. Um, and I got it loose, you know. But I thought it was so awesome that she kind of went out of her way to you know pay attention to something that I wanted, and um, you know went on her own and ventured into the horrible waters of eBay to to pick this up. Um, it's slightly different than Dave's. Yeah, we just noticed this a yeah. minute ago. The, uh, you the can't really tell under the layer of dust because I don't keep mine in a yeah. cabinet. And you may not even see it on camera, but the shade of blue of the body on his is totally uh, much more of a true blue. Mine's like a deep navy, almost mm. black. Yeah. Um, so very different. And also the, the, the manufacturer stamps in the back are yep. different. Mine's, mine says Made in France. He has the regular Popey logo. Uh, the, what is it? Dynamic Kikaku. And the, yeah, toy in the, in the Popey logo, yeah. And there's a third version that uh, specifically says Made in Germany, so mm. I don't know if there's another. What does yours say on the back? Yeah, my back is actually a little bit different from Josh's, yep. so we all three of ours have different yeah. backs. Yeah, yeah yours is dyna uh, copyrighted. Yeah. Dynamic. So these two, are, these two but are. But it's in English. English. Yeah. Yeah, this is not. This yeah. is. Obviously, you guys can't see this, yeah. but. That's a yeah, whole lot of height difference here, too, or am I just imagining it? It wouldn't surprise me at all. I've seen that a lot with uh, jumbos that I've been buying lately. This uh, little wow. Look, look at the, look at the arm height. Absolutely right. This guy's shorter than. Huh. Well, let's figure out why. <laughs> <laughs> Discovery is live on air. Yep. Yeah. What's You're on a, a groove here with his legs. Uh -huh. so. It could maybe, just maybe, maybe that was why. <laughs> no, it's still short. Mine, this one's shorter Yours now. Yours is still short, yeah. Dave. No. So Dave is the shortest. Yeah. Huh. This is like Ghost Hunters so Live, can. only with toys. Yeah, totally is short. And a whole lot nerdier. I mean, this leg is a little crooked, but it's still the same. 
Your stance is wider. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh. This thing is, I've, I've tried to bend it back in. There's a lot of little things with this one that aggravate me, but uh, I yeah, want to. You know, yours may be more so. messed up than mine. Yeah, mine just yeah, needs to dust. Yeah, it's totally. Yours just looks filthy. <laughs> But, uh, Anyhow, yeah. we're not here to talk about these run-of-the-mill cheap Ojo I'm not going to throw mine. <laughs> I may not like it that much, but I still want to keep it. So, uh, Just in case anybody wonders, there's a bean bag over here. No jumbos were harmed in the making of this show. <laughs> Although we have talked about making a jumbo snuff film. Yes. But mm. that's, uh, that's, that's a, a show for another day. Yeah. Whole so uh, if you want to see that happen, send your used jumbo machinders to Collection DX. And we'll destroy them and we'll on kill camera them for, for you. It. Yes, <laughs> in the most fascinating ways possible. We will come up with something very oh. inventive. Now, do we want to talk about these first before moving on? Uh, they're just some of the other Grand Ezra toys I pull out of my collection. Just eye candy. Yeah, just a you know, it's the Poppy. Oh. I think it's the first version Spacer. This is the first it's version uh, GA thirty seven. Yeah. DX Korean plastic bootleg. It's uh, barely Grand Ezra, but it's hardly recognizable. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we touched on Korean toys but a little bit earlier. You'll so notice that, you know, Grand Isa fits inside of his spacer here, mm. you know? Funny that. And then we Funny have the, uh, this is the Soul Chugokin. Um, same thing comes with a spacer. The spacer is plastic, you know? Um, the only die-cast spacer that I think we got was this little guy. Hmm. Is that the only die-cast spacer that we is this uh, I think uh, this is all plastic. I think all plastic. I think I'm um, HL Pro. I think their huh. spacer um, for their metal tech maybe really? uh, metal. Not being a Chukokin collector, I'm I'm a little surprised to learn this right now. Yeah, yeah I would have figured there would have been one. No, this is it. Or a better one anyway. Nice, fucking powerful. <laughs> this is a beautiful toy. This is beat to hell and back, but. Hey. The G thirty seven is my favorite. Uh, hey, I don't come to your house and make fun of your toys, man. I know it's beat to hell. It's loved. it's beautiful though. I've actually never held a, a first version spacer uh, in person before. It's got the hull missiles instead of uh, the shooty uh, gimmicks being in these uh, discs at the end of the wings. So that's kind of cool. You don't have the, the missiles? Right? I don't have them in there. They're, in, they're packed oh, okay. away. Yeah. Then, but there's no Duke Cleave in the cockpit, is there? No, I don't think so. There's something in there. You're very upset by that. Yeah. Why? Right. Does it I, need I, to have Dukes? I think typically a spacer should have a Duke Cleave in the cockpit, don't you? Well, this one doesn't either, does it? Really? Is no, there, it's are, just a little... Yeah, it's a little blue thing. Are there any toys that have a Duke Cleave, uh, Duke Cleave in the cockpit? Why, yes! There I is? believe there may be! Well, I wonder. I, it's surely not in my collection. Show me, show me. Was that meant to be a segue? Yes, but...